Hello, beautiful nerds. Uh, I actually just got off of a plane, uh, just came from London. One of the first things I did was cuddle my dogs, take a shower, and uh, now we're going to react to the brand new Dragonflight Legacies uh, Chapter 1, which I hear is about Nazdormu, um, which, I mean, is probably going to be the end villain of this expansion as Morazan, but I guess, I guess we'll find out. Anyways, uh, I've been looking forward to these. I'm so excited to finally be able to watch them. Like, perfect day to come home from London. So, uh, Dragonflight Legacies, Chapter 1. Let's do it. Oh, I'm so glad they're in these styles, too, because damn. That effect on his voice. Stop there. Who are you? One who would be your guide. Tell me, what do you remember from before? My general, a fierce battle. And then I was imprisoned in darkness. Hmm. But now, you are free. What are you? Come, there is much I would show you to prepare you for the challenges that lie ahead. Oh my god, the mute, the score here? Are you kidding me? I'm a little emberthal. This place. Okay, that's what I thought. So strange. Where are we? Where is less important than when? Many thousands of years ago, when our world was young. Azeroth was home to the ancestors of dragons. Yeah. Primitive beasts ruled by primal instincts. Yet, there were a few in whom the spark of intelligence was lit, who thought spoke and felt more deeply than the rest what does this have to do with me were it not for them your people would not be huh. from these proto dragons there arose the monster galakrond whose insatiable hunger would have consumed us all. When the fate of our kind was at stake, we five overcame the instincts of fear and self-preservation. We and united to battle the Leviathan. We? So you were one of these. <laughs> bravery risking everything to save the world we were granted a gift of the titans transformed into something greater i was gonna say their forms are entirely different oh. together we became the aspects oh that's a hot the dragon the dragon flights the protectors of Azeroth. In time, we took on visages like this to better commune with the younger races. Why have you shown me this? I am Nazdormu. I was aspect of the Bronze Flight. It is my fate to see all of time. But now a threat to our world approaches. An ancient enemy has returned. You will play a part in the events to come, and you will have to make a difficult choice. 
as we did. I am not like you. No. My story is already written. But yours, and that of all Drakthir, is only beginning to unfold. Ooh, they tall. Yes, yes. Give me the reveal. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. I okay, so there's there's like there's a lot to talk about in but now it that, there's a lot to talk about there. So, an ancient enemy. But now a threat to our world approaches. A threat to our world approaches. Does that mean it's not of Azeroth? So it's not. I mean, because the first, obviously, the first, like the 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 primalist s stuff is what we're dealing with, right? Elemental and all that. I guess it wouldn't necessarily be part because they have their own realms. An ancient enemy has returned. Which could just be Primalist. It could be something else entirely. Like, it could be something with the infinite dragonflight. He, he could be referring to himself. Morazond has returned in some form, right? Because we know that Morazond would t technically be infinite. If one Morazond could exist, then that means that any number of Morazond could exist because of how time would work, right? If one, if that means that in other branches of time, Nazdormu, it's like there's there's a ton of different Kangs, right? In Marvel, maybe? I feel like it's interesting. So, Naz, so Nazdormu is the one to go to the Drakthir to recruit them to help us because he says he know his story is written, which means... I, I don't think I, I I'm gonna call it now. I don't think I don't think Nazdormu makes it out of Dragonflight. Like I don't think I don't think I don't see it happening. I'd be shocked if he makes Why it out. Have you shown me this? And uh Emberthal, so it, right at the beginning. Ember Saul said or Ember Ember Zal. Stop there. Who are you? One who would be your guide. Tell me, what do you remember from before? So this is, this is, is this before the, the Dragon Isles? Like, is this when the Dragon Isles were then lost to them? Or is this, is this now? Is this when they rediscovered the Dragon Isles? I'm actually a little unsure about that timeline wise. My general. A fierce battle, and then I was imprisoned in darkness. All right, so that was that's Deathwing, um, right? So Deathwing was their general. Deathwing was the one who created them. The fierce battle, though, against two. My general. Uh. I mean, it could, it can't be the Legion, right? Because they wouldn't have fought the they wouldn't have fought in the A war. Fierce of the battle, and then I was imprisoned in darkness. Hmm. But now you are free. So this, mu so it has to be with the finding of the what Dragon Isles, right? Because we were told there is much I would show you. To prepare you for the challenges that lie ahead. That's okay, that's cool. So, but the reason why he's showing Galakrond has to be there has to be a reason for that, right? It's not like it's not like Nazdormu showed Emberthal uh a primalist threat. Specifically, he showed them Galakrond. So does that mean Galakrond is coming back in some way? And I, I'm just kind of curious how that would even work, unless it's a timey wimey thingy. Because it's got to be a little timey-wimey. But then again, he's not the aspect of anymore. Does he have control? I don't know. Um, I love this, though. I love this art style. And honestly, the music in this is, like, spot on. It's really good. But, like, that... Oh, look at that shot. Look at him. He's... Dormu's hot, man. 
I just Dormu's real hot. And then you have the the reveal of Emberthal. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. There's something about that music that sounds so um it's just so dragon high fantasy. Like it just feels it just feels good. I'm I'm really excited. And this, so we, do we know? Do, I'm not sure. If people in the comments will know if they've said how many we're actually going to be getting um, of these these legacies. We have there's four different launch dates. Um, so is it possible that we'll get four different launches uh, or four different cinematics? Right. We have the the pre patch today. We have the drag theory on the fifteenth. We have the um, the actual game launch and then we have raids so i wonder if each of those is going to have a new legacy video which is great for me because i love watching these and i love reacting to them uh so anyways uh i'm getting kind of sick <laughs> this video is about this is, i mean it's amazing it always is right like the the animation style is beautiful the voice acting um i'm actually curious is that the same voice actor for nas dormu because it's good I mean, Emberthal too, but like Nas Dormu just sounds like that. They added something, something to him this time that just feels like, ooh, I want to hang out with him. I want to, want to hang out, stuff, and kiss a little. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Never give up. Never surrender. Bye, nerds.